aim to create a traffic enforcers academy that would help alleviate vehicle congestion in Metro Cebu. The Cebu Provincial Government, together with the University of the Philippines National Center for Traffic Administration, rolled out a training course for traffic heads from Metro Cebu LGUs. Traffic managers from the cities of Danao, Mandawe, Lapu-Lapu, Cebu, Talisay, and Karkar participated in the Metro Cebu Traffic Administration Certificate Course Training. The towns of Mingdanilia and San Fernando also sent representatives for the five-day event. Cebu Governor Hilary P. David III said the training is a precursor for the creation of the Cebu Traffic Enforcers Academy that would pave the way for a uniform traffic code for the province. So we try and hopefully keep the training at all so we can discuss lengthily with the short-term and long-term solutions in it. Not just in the area, all the entire metro Cebu, from Danau City in the north up to Karkar City in the south, about the Kogunan area. It's about 13 municipalities and municipalities plus the province of Cebu. The problem is that it's a lobbying at Cebu. The video also graced the Metro Cebu Traffic Administration Certificate Course Training and Local Public Transport Route Planning and Management Course, a separate training program for route planning conducted by the Department of Tourism, Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, and Department of Interior and Local Government. Participants of the LPTRPM are local chief executives or the representatives and traffic heads from Cebu LGUs. Tevide is hopeful that with the training, LGUs could discuss thoroughly traffic problems in their respective areas. During the LPTRPM training, LTFRB7 Director Ahmed Quizon expressed his hopefulness that they could fill in the gaps in some areas in Cebu where there is no regular public transportation. Commercial quantities of natural gas and oil resource that can last up to 19 years have been found in the southern town of Alegria, Cebu. With this development, Cebu Governor Hilario P. Davide III is pleased with the acknowledgement from the Department of Energy that crude oil is viable in the said town. The Department of Energy and its partner, a Chinese exploration firm, were set to start production on the onshore gas and oil mining site in Alegria. Alegria Town is a fourth-class municipality located more than 110 kilometers away from Cebu City. Alegria Mayor Verna Magallon said the development is an opportunity for the town to improve economic activities and generate more jobs. Last March 14, Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi declared that the oil field located in Barangay Montpelier has quantities of natural gas and oil resources that can last until the year 2037. The Cebu Provincial Government turned over 280,000 worth of farming equipment to an organization of farm workers from Barangay Landahan, Toledo City. The distribution was made to the Farmer Growers Association, or Far Grassland, last March 19 in time for the capital's annual Servicio Caravan. Far Grassland President Emelinda Nelmida said the electric dryer with cocoa sealer will hasten their manual production for cocoa sugar and will surpass its current production of 4 to 5 kilos a day. Nelmida said they can use the electric dryer for cacao production but will look into more products to produce out of it with a steady market demand. Increasing farm yield is among the primary goals of Governor Hilario P. Davide III as he is set to further boost his agenda on countryside development that ensures food security for the whole province of Cebu. 